Today we're going for the Platinum Trophy in Resident Evil 7. Now, the Platinum Trophy just by itself isn't too bad, but we're also going to complete all the DLC as well. The DLC in this game actually makes Resident Evil 7 one of the hardest Resident Evil games to complete. You'll see what I mean when we get there. The first thing we need to do is to do two playthroughs. One on normal difficulty, as that's all that's available right now, while getting miscellaneous trophies, and a speed run on easy while using no more than three heals and the item box no more than three times. Let's start with the normal playthrough first. The game begins with the main character, Ethan, receiving an email from his wife, Mia, who's been missing for three years. In the email, Mia warns Ethan to stay away and don't come looking for her. Of course, he completely ignores her and makes a trip to her last known location, which is in Louisiana. We pull up to the driveway of this old creepy house, which we definitely should not go inside of, and we get our first trophy. This is the place. She's alive. We travel to Louisiana, guys. <laughs> Louisiana in itself is a scary place. <laughs> We make our way through the back entrance and find Mia's purse and ID. Oh, driver's license. Aha! Oh, we obtained something closely by examining an item. So in the game, there are VHS tapes that allow you to play what happened in the past. We're going to need to play all of these tapes eventually for a trophy. But in the meantime, we find our first one and we play through it. While in the past, we unlock a drawer, which gives us a trophy. Gotta lockpick this... This thing. Oh, Master of Unlocking. I love that that's a trophy in, like, all the games. Master of Unlocking. Which then allows our main character in the future to collect our first antique coin, which we'll need to collect all of these for a trophy. And in classic Res Evil fashion, we find our first bobblehead for a trophy. He's here, there, everywhere. Destroy Mr. Everywhere. There's our first Mr. Everywhere statue. We then pass some time with our first boss battle of the game. We fight Jack in the garage, and he is a jerk. Stop it. Bad. Oh my god. Mm. Bad Jack. Bad Jack. Eventually, Jack just takes care of himself, and we move on. Jack, dude, chill out, man. All right, so here's a missable trophy right here. We just picked up this Mia tape. And we have to play this tape. And I guess we have to not get caught while playing through this tape. Okay, let's just not get caught. Easy, right? Should be easy. Should be fine. We'll be fine. You don't see me. I'm super sneaky. Oh. Oh my god, I'm so sneaky, dude. Call me Sam Fisher, dude. I'm out here sneaking. Nobody... Guys? Nobody move. Don't even blink. You don't see me. You do not see me. I got my sneak maxed out to 100. Alright? Oh my god. Oh... <laughs> Marguerite's only weakness. A door. We're good. So he's like, I'm gonna check over this way, but I'm not gonna check behind the door. Nah. Definitely not the door. All you have to do is accept her fucking gifts. I don't want any gifts. Oh my god. Man, it's a good thing this chick is blind because I'm literally right. I am through playing games with you. <laughs> literally you right. Have I Right in front of her. Oh, great. Can't catch me. What did they do to We completed that uh, without being seen by Marguerite. Eventually, we found ourselves down in the basement, in the dissection room, looking for a key to escape this house. 
We find the key, but Jack Spartan kicks me off the ledge. It's time for our second boss fight with Jack. For this fight specifically, we need to dodge under one of his attacks for a miscellaneous trophy. Luckily, I just got done watching Dodgeball, so my moves were on point. Chill. Out. Jack. Oh, there we go. Hit him with the shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're getting a chainsaw? Okay, well, I'm also going to get a chainsaw, so. <laughs> Look at us, just two chainsaw bros, huh? Who would have thought? Not me. Oh! Oh, get dodged. Duck if you love life. Get absolutely dodged, Jack. Duck. <laughs> Dip, dive, and dodge. Oh! Dude, I'm over here dodging fools. What's up with it, though, Jack? Yeah. Eat it, Jack. Take the chainsaw. Oh! Oh! Too slow, Jackie boy. Oh, too slow. Oh, man. We're really out here, ladies and gentlemen. We are really out here. Yes! <laughs> so gross, but so awesome. No, you're dead, right? Yeah, you're dead. No, oh, that's cute. You're still trying to walk. Oh, how cute. Oh. Do me a favor and stay dead. Yeah, what Ethan said. With Jack defeated and the key in hand, we make our way outside the house for the first time. You ain't getting away. Escape to the yard. Once outside, we made our way towards the old house to face Marguerite Baker and collect some miscellaneous trophies along the way. Okay, so I think if I knife this thing, I might get a trophy here, let's see. Yep, things got personal. Finish off an enemy with a knife. <laughs> Does this give me a trophy if I knock these off? God, spiders are so gross. Slash, 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 slash. Clear off the insects of a door using a knife. It does! Okay, I remember that one. <laughs> okay, so I think there's a trophy for trying to put the wrong object on one of these things. It's a missable one, so I'm gonna try to put my knife there. There it is. Nice try. <laughs> Congratulations, you're an idiot. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pick up this backpack. I can now carry more items in the bag. Trophy. More inventory space. Yes. Love that for us. Love that for us. Then I'm gonna knock out another one right here. I need to use a psycho stimulant. Just one. And this should knock out another trophy for us here. Open your eyes. We use the psycho stimulant. There we go. Two very quick trophies. Sweet. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go for a trophy here where I have to basically fight off Marguerite, who's wandering through the house right now. And uh, I have to waste a whole bunch of ammo and just fight her. Like, here we go, right, right here. Hey, Mama. Excuse me? Did you say... What did she just say? Dude, it's so dark. I can't see crap. Oh my god, there's so many bugs! There's so many bugs! Alright, reload, 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 reload. Get out of here! Back off, Mrs. B, you psycho! Oh my god.
Now it was time to fight Marguerite for real. During the fight, I had to go for a missable trophy where I had to shoot her as she jumped at me from the ceiling. Not gonna lie, I struggled a little bit on this one. <laughs> oh my god, okay. We gotta try to get this trophy, even though I'm absolutely terrified right now. Oh, I got spires on me. Am I almost dead? Come on, Nana. I need you to jump at me. Jeez. Come on. Jump at me, lady. Really? Get up on that ceiling. Come on. I'm trying to get her to... <laughs> this, is so... this is so stupid. This is so stupid. I just want to be attacked in the correct way. Where the heck did you go? Oh, God! Son of a bee! Oh! Dude, this is ridiculous. Oh my god, dude. Why is this so hard to hit? There it is! Fly swatter! Oh, and I died. <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay well at least we got the trophy after getting the trophy i fought marguerite again killed her and got a trophy for completing the old house area the grave will out the truth we make our way into the trailer and i get a phone call from lucas the son of the family we need to grab two key cards back in the house in order to continue. After a couple of jump scares. Oh great, creepy. Oh! Oh! I grab both key cards and return to the trailer to complete another videotape. This time I had to complete this tape in under five minutes, which was really no big deal. There we go. Out before dessert. We completed this tape within five minutes. I make my way through Lucas's area, which is full of monsters and traps, but he escapes before I can even catch him. To make myself feel better, I get the trophy for crafting every item in the game. First place at the science fair. And then I make my way to the final fight with Jack. Dude, hit him in the eyeballs. Hit him in the eyeballs. Oh. Yeah, it wouldn't be a Resident Evil game without eyeballs. Sit down, Jack. Let me get some of these eyeballs for you, huh? You like that? Like that, Jack? Your eyeballs are gross, dude. Grab all this. All right, it's time to hit him with this. I miss? No way. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There's one eyeball over here I need to get to. Yes. How many more eyeballs do you have, Jack? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. I'm using it. Yeah, get grenaded. Get out of here. Jack? After finally kicking Jack's ass once and for all, I'm given the choice to either save Mia or Zoe, the girl that's been helping me this whole time. Eventually, I'll need to do both as they each give you a trophy, but for this playthrough, I decided to get the true ending and save Mia. Zoe is understandably pissed, but I'm sure she'll be fine. Mia and I sail away on our little sailboat, some bad things happen, and then we wake up on the shore as Mia. You better start running. Escape from the Baker family home. <laughs> While playing as Mia, we're forced by this little demon child to watch the last VHS tape. 
which gives us the trophy for watching all the VHS tapes in the game. We make our way as Mia through this weird boat area, find our last antique coin for a trophy. Hey, pelicans in your pockets. And then we save Ethan from Ethan. this weird black goo prison that he's in. Now, playing as Ethan, we get a trophy for escaping from the boat. Into the depth. And we get the trophy for getting all the bobbleheads in the game. Mr. Nowhere. Now, somehow on this playthrough, I ended up missing one file somewhere, so I missed out on the trophy for reading all the files in one playthrough, which sucked, but we'll get that in another playthrough. Now, all I needed to do was beat the final boss, and our main playthrough was done. No one-liner? Oh man, I was, I was waiting for the one-liner there. How about, looks like that's the way the cookie crumbles. Oh, you suck. That wasn't good. No. That wasn't a good one. Mm -mm. Playing it safe. Yeah. The nightmare's finally over. That's for being the game on easy and on normal. Oh my God. End of the night, get ending one. Three trophies. This helicopter is so loud. <laughs> and there we go. Our first playthrough done. Normal difficulty. Got all the coins. I missed one file. <laughs> where? I don't know where. I'll get that on my Madhouse difficulty. That's annoying though. Now it was time for the speed run playthrough. To get this trophy, we just had to beat the game under four hours, which is way more than enough time. I also needed to heal under three times and use the item box no more than three times as well. So I put the game on easy difficulty and this time I made sure to save Zoe for a trophy, which also gives you a secret Mia mini boss fight. I thought you loved me. No! I don't love you. I want a divorce. I don't have any weapons. Oh, oh there's a crowbar right here. Oh, okay. Time to kick some ass. And Res Evil 8 never happens. We make it to the end again and knock this playthrough out. Just get me out of here. Complete the game within four hours, guys. Resource manager, we complete the game without opening the item box more than three times. Walk it off, complete the game using only three first aid meds or less. And just a memory now, we got the worst ending in the game. <laughs> there we go, four trophies. Speed run is done. Now, normally we just beat the game on Madhouse difficulty and we'd have the Platinum. But like I said at the beginning of the video, we are also doing all of the DLC. Now, there is a ton of DLC for this game. Some are pretty easy and straightforward, but some are actually really hard. The first DLC we did was the Not A Hero DLC, which is where you play as Chris Redfield and have to finally kill Lucas, who has kidnapped four of your fellow soldiers. This DLC wasn't too bad. We just first had to beat it on normal mode. And then we just had to play it again on professional mode. Yeah. All right. Yeah, stay down, Lucas, for the second time. And there it is. You're the hero now. Completed not a hero on professional difficulty. Next up was the bedroom DLC. This one is actually really cool. You're trying to escape this room, but Marguerite keeps coming in to check on you. So you have to make sure you put back everything the way it was while you're trying to solve puzzles. For this DLC, we just had to find three rats for a trophy. Oh yeah, there's the rat. Okay, that should be the last rat I need. Should be the last rat. There we go, rat catcher and just escape for the other trophy. Oh, no. 
I'm out of here, Marguerite. I'm out of here. Later. Yes. Sweet. Like Mama used to make. Next up was the Nightmare DLC. This is kind of like a COD Zombies wave mode where you have to survive five rounds of increasingly difficult enemies. You don't start off with any weapons and instead you have to start up these generators to farm points that you use to buy weapons, ammo, and even perks with. So there's a normal mode and a hard mode. The normal mode wasn't too bad. I even got another trophy while working on it. Hey, less is more. What's that one? We took down two or more enemies with one shot. Oh, all right, cool. Does that even hurt you? Are you dead? Yes, I am something. Yes, yes, dead by dawn. <laughs> The hard mode was actually pretty difficult, but I found a cheesy strategy where you can just sit by this door and saw monsters' legs off with the circular saw, which makes this way more doable. Come here. Come inside my room. It's fun. <laughs> Come on. Come on, monsters. Oh, there you go. Oh, there's another one. Get in here. It's a good time, I promise. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Tanner's house of rusty blades. Oh, man, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Have you guys ever think, seen anything so beautiful in your life? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh my god, I just have to defeat Jack, guys, and then we're done with this DLC. Cannot wait to be done with this DLC, man. This is scary. This is scary. I don't like it. Oh! See what I'm saying? Oh my god. Told you I wasn't lying. It's scary. Ah! Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Die, Jack! Yes! Circular saw for the win! Sleepless and Dolby. Suck it, Jack! Uh the next DLC was actually the hardest one for me, funnily enough, because all it is is playing blackjack. There's three trophies for this DLC. The first two aren't too bad. One you get for beating the normal DLC. The other you get for beating survival mode, which is where you beat five enemies in a row without losing once. The third trophy though was a nightmare. This one is survival plus, where you have to beat 10 enemies in a row without losing. This was actually so hard because I had to grind out these hidden challenges to unlock better cards to even give me a chance to complete this. So all in all, this one trophy took me about five hours to grind. Each run to the end takes about 60 to 90 minutes. So here I found myself on the last opponent after 90 minutes of playing. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. Huge play right there. Huge play. Okay. And we're going to lay down this so we can't use any trump cards. And we got him. That's it. That's GG. That's GG. No way. No way. No way. Oh my god, I should have won that. Okay. I'm gonna swap. Oh my god, this guy. Bust. That's gotta be a bust. Please god, let that be a bust. Don't you dare have the one. Don't have the one. Oh my 
my god, this guy won't go away. I need the five. And no one's showing a five, and you have the 11. So I'm gonna do this. Come on, man. Don't screw me right here and start the round over again. Stay. This is it. Yes. I beat you. Yes. You got to know when to hold him. Oh my god, guys. Reach 21 at least three times in a row. Wow, I can't believe I just did that now. That would have been helpful earlier. Guys, I've been on that trophy for literally hours. I'm never playing blackjack ever again in my life. I swear to God. With that nightmare out of the way, the Daughters DLC was next. This is a simple story DLC that's a prequel to the main story. All I had to do was beat it two times for two different endings. Now, Ethan Must Die was the next DLC up. For a lot of people, this is the hardest DLC in the game, and I can see why. I definitely died a bunch playing through this. The goal is to find a key in the main house in order to go unlock the greenhouse to fight Marguerite. The hard part is that there are randomized items, and every enemy can just pretty much one-hit kill you. This is definitely a hard DLC, but once you play through enough, you figure out you can use a lot of the environmental traps to help you kill enemies. And every enemy is always in a consistent spot, so you'll learn strategies for every enemy encounter after dying enough times. The hard part for me really was just the randomness of it all. Sometimes you'll get a good weapon, and other times you'll just get like a knife for the whole run, and that's really it. Once you make it to Marguerite though, all you have to do is beat her, and and you're done. Die, die, die. Get out of here. Marguerites. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta survive, guys. We gotta survive. I think she's running into all the traps. I don't know where she's at. Where you at? Marguerite. There she is. I'm staying the hell away from her. Oh my god. Oh shit. Did she die? Is she dead? I think she's dead. No way. No way. No way. <laughs> All I did was just run. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Ethan never dies. She died. The turret got her. Now it was time to celebrate Jack's 55th birthday. This is a fun DLC where you just run around and find food to feed Jack for his birthday. If you feed him enough food, you fill up the meter at the top of the screen and the level is over. There are multiple stages and you need to get an S rank on all of them for a trophy, which just means you have to beat them in a certain amount of time. The other two trophies are for feeding Jack every type of food in the game and beating a level with 10 minutes of extra bonus time, which you get by just killing enemies. This is a pretty fun DLC, but I eventually just looked up a guide for like the later levels as I just quickly got tired of doing the same thing over and over again. The end of Zoe DLC was the last DLC I completed. In this DLC, you play as Joe Baker, Zoe's uncle, and you just run around and punch monsters while looking for a cure for Zoe. The hardest trophy for it for me was beating the game on Joe Must Die mode, which is a super hard difficulty setting. Some areas gave me issues, but for the most part, I just punched everything in my way and I made it through. Oh, he's done! Easy! Jack, you're a pushover. And there's the trophy, King of the Swamp. Complete end of Zoe on the Joe Must Die difficulty. So I think with that, let's check. All the DLCs should be done. Yeah, so all the DLCs are done. Now what we gotta do is just beat the game on Madhouse, get all the rest of the uh, collectibles, and do one miscellaneous trophy. And then we're done. Platinum trophy's mine. Sweet, 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 sweet. So yeah, all that was left for the Platinum was Madhouse difficulty. As I was playing, I got a trophy for blowing up an enemy with a bomb. Catch the bomb. 
There it is. That's a spicy meat the ball. I collected a whole new set of antique coins that were exclusive to Madhouse difficulty. Okay, so I think coming up here should be the last antique coin right here. Here we go. Mad Pelicans. I finally got all the files in one playthrough. The devil's in the details. There it is. I don't know how I missed one on my first time, but at least we got it now. Oh my gosh, cool. And then all I had to do was beat the final boss and the platinum trophy was mine. One last time, time to kill you. Playtime's over, like he said. Playtime's over. Who's your daddy now? I thought I'd ever say that. Complete the game on Madhouse. And bio splattered. There it is, guys. Unlocked all the trophies. Platinum for Resident Evil 7. I love this game. And there we have it, guys. The platinum for Resident Evil 7. Probably one of my favorite Resident Evil games ever, honestly. And it's also the longest game in the Resident Evil franchise to complete, apparently. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more platinum trophy hunting videos and check out this video right here.